what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here so we got some big news major news coming out today from variety the Hollywood reporter all the major trades related to what is going on with blum house's exorcist ip that they purchased what three years ago at this point or nearly three years ago at this point like 400 million dollars i think they spent for that ip and they've already sort of squandered it with that first execution from david gordon green and his creative team Thankfully, though, today we got word confirmation on what Jeff Snyder was telling us about a few weeks ago. And that is that 100 percent now Mike Flanagan has signed on to write and direct the next film from Blumhouse related to the Exorcist franchise. This article uh, that I'm going to be going over is from Variety. So it says here the Exorcist universe will continue to expand thanks to Dr. Sleep and the fall of the House of Usher visionary Mike Flanagan. Flanagan has signed on to write, direct, and produce what's described as a radical new take on The Exorcist for Blumhouse in Morgan Creek. Um, I think this is from Flanagan. He said, The Exorcist is one of the reasons I became a filmmaker, and it's an honor to have the chance to try something fresh, bold, and terrifying within its universe. Reuniting with my friends at Blumhouse, with whom I've made some of my favorite pieces of work, only makes this more exciting. The new Exorcist movie will be produced by longtime collaborators Trevor Macy and Flanagan. John Schreer will also be working on the film on behalf of Intrepid. This film marks the fourth collaboration for Flanagan and Blumhouse. He wrote and directed 2013's Oculus. If you haven't seen Oculus, please check that movie out. I think that movie is underrated. 2016's Hush and 2016's Ouija Origin of Evil, which were all produced by Macy. To note Flanagan... Flanagan's film is an all new story, not a sequel to 2023's The Exorcist Believer, which has or which was helmed by David Gordon Green. Green had planned to helm a trilogy of Exorcist movies with a sequel to Exorcist Deceiver scheduled to hit theaters in 2025. But he exited the franchise in January after Believer grossed 137 million globally, yet underperformed with critics. Mike's voice and vision are indispensable for horror fans and we are excited to welcome him back to blumhouse said blumhouse founder and ceo jason blum i immediately responded to mike's new take on the world of the exorcist and can't wait for audiences to experience it uh morgan creek chairman and ceo said this this is david robinson morgan and creek chairman and ceo he said it's an honor to be working with mike i think his vision for this franchise is going to stun audiences worldwide and i could not be more excited to be working with him Trevor, Jason, and the entire Blumhouse team. See, obviously, they're going to say as much positivity they can for PR purposes to make everything look like this is all good and well. But the good thing about it, along with the fact that we know they're going to say positive things about all of their products, they're not going to say, hey, you know, we're putting out a bad project. The good thing is that we can actually trust some of this hyperbole. We can trust these exaggerations or at least if you're a fan of mike flanagan you're familiar with what he has been doing in the horror space we can trust this excitement because mike flanagan has been someone that has proven himself to be a force to be reckoned with within the horror space he is someone a lot of people like myself and many others who have watched his filmography and seen what he's been doing on television with the haunting of hill house the haunting of bly manor midnight mass the Fall of the House of Usher, all of these amazing shows that he's been doing, somehow magically being able to give us a near-perfect sequel to The Shining, all of these things that he's been doing over the last decade at this point, he has earned this excitement that I'm already seeing online when it pertains to him joining The Exorcist. I remember when The Exorcist was first announced to be in the hands of Blumhouse, a lot of people were definitely eyeing Mike Flanagan as someone who needed to be on board for this. But then we found out it was David Gordon Green, and now it's like, well, why are you doing that? And it obviously just seemed like, oh, conveniently, let's bring them on because we just worked with them for the Halloween trilogy. You know, that was a financial hit for us. Yeah, ignoring the fact that those returns critically were not the best. So the sour taste that was left in the mouth from those diminishing returns, despite the financial success being there, the critical reception for those two Halloween films that came after the 2018 film didn't live up to what came in that 2018 film. So I don't know who's who, of course, ultimately sat down and decided that David Gordon Green and his team from the Halloween trilogy were the best fit to do The Exorcist. I'm glad they are just gone. 
You know, I can also still admit that even I myself, who was going into the into the Believer film expecting it to be trash, I didn't find that movie to be the worst thing I had watched. It was a decent movie to me, but very flawed, heavily flawed, and did not feel like an appropriate follow up to a movie as classic and as iconic as The Exorcist. Mike Flanagan, though, I trust is not going to really try to rely too much on living up to legacy as much as he's just going to conveniently live up to legacy by producing a very compelling take on The Exorcist that is Mike Flanagan-esque and we ourselves as fans of The Exorcist will just tell him he lived up to the legacy. I feel his goal will be to just do his own take on The Exorcist and Mike Flanagan's take on things, again if you're a fan of his, his take on a lot of stuff, if you love his content, has been a hit. There's very few misses in the mix here. Only if you're a fan. I know there might be some people out there who do not like Mike Flanagan. I trust that what he is cooking up for this Exorcist movie is going to blow my mind. I trust that he is going to give us a world filled with characters to get invested in, love. Their deaths are going to crush us. We might get a classic, iconic monologue. I expect to see some familiar faces from the stars that he likes to work with, uh, such as Kate Siegel more than anything and some of the other individuals who have worked with him on Hill House, Bly Manor, like Victoria, for instance, and a few other people that I don't know their names of because there's just too many, but he likes to reuse a lot of his talent. I expect to see some of those people involved with this Exorcist movie, and I expect that this will end up being one of the best horror movies we have to look forward to in the next two years, if it comes out in within the next two years, which I imagine it would. Congratulations to Mike Flanagan. I cannot wait to see you blow Believer out of the water. I cannot wait to see your take on The Exorcist, and I trust that whatever he has written is just going to be masterful, because that's what this man does. He cooks, he delivers, he seasons, and he serves it to you with a smile because he knows you're going to enjoy it, and he knows that he offers good shit. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe, turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, let me know any movies news or reviews you like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video